You see, this is the reality of prep. I'm currently in an Asda at 3.30 in the morning because I woke up at around about two o'clock and I just couldn't sleep. And I was trying, I was trying, I was trying. Um, it's a combination of, you know, the drugs that I'm using, but also uh, being hungry, you know, being low body fat. I think it just takes a toll. Um, and anyone, you know, any bodybuilder will tell you the last stages of prep, your sleep just goes to shit. So I uh, just thought I'd come and grab a few bits and bobs that I need for the day. I'm currently two days out. It is now Thursday morning. Registration is tomorrow afternoon. And I'm going to be staying up near Maidenhead for the show. And yeah, so I might be going in with a few carbs today on Amy Say So. Uh, the problem is with me is that I will always run in low. And actually sometimes that's not beneficial. I already know based on, I weighed myself before I come to Asda and I know that I'm going to be a new low this morning. In fact, it's very likely that I would have dropped around about a kilo and a half in a day. Fuck me, am I depleting hard at the moment. So grab a few bits and bobs and then go in with a high day. I'm going to do a check -in video so I will post a few bits and bobs from that and then yeah, see how I'm looking and based on that, we see how much food goes in. Right, so I'm in Spartan's Gym in Southampton, which was my gym for a good seven, eight years uh, before I moved up north. So here for the final session before, well, the show Saturday, today is Thursday, final session, and tomorrow's gonna be complete rest. So I went and done some cardio this morning after my little Asda trip. Um, and I was thinking about that. It's weird, it's like a love-hate thing. Waking up that early is obviously not ideal and it's not what I wanna be doing, but, there's this weird sense of community with a load of other people competing as well. And you all end up starting chatting to each other in the morning. Um, and it's kind of weird. I end up kind of looking forward to it. Uh, I don't know, maybe that's just me. But anyway, I got home earlier on and I managed to get another hour. So after I went to Asda, I went home and I just laid down for a bit and I ended up getting another hour of sleep. But it's definitely not enough. I'm still gonna be pretty fucked. So <laughs> here's what it is. I think what's important to note is that you know, when you're in this state, it ends up having a bit of an effect on people around you as well. So, you know, you're not necessarily as present, you know, even not, I don't wake up next to Amy. My schedule's all over the place, so it's just a bit of a nightmare. So prep ends up affecting other people around you. So you need to make sure that you've got people who are supportive and understanding around you. And if not, it can be very, very difficult. So anyway, I thought that I would give a couple of tips for people who are, you know, potentially watching this and potentially want to compete. There's a few bits and bobs that I just want to go over quickly now just to make sure that your running for the show is as smooth as possible because I've done it so many times now. I end up, you know, I feel pretty relaxed. I don't feel too much of anything. I just, you know, I'm, if anything, I just, I'm just more excited to go up there and get it done. You know, I just want, I'm excited to go and compete. The first one is make sure that you've got your hair off in good time. So if you're going to veep, make sure you do it several days before your time because always it will cause skin irritation. And what I found actually over the years is that I end up getting like a lot of ingrown hairs if I do that. So this time I've just opted for a, a razor instead. So I've not bothered uh, v eating. So we'll see how that one plans out. Number two, make the travel have the least amount of stress possible. So I'm only about an hour from where the competition is, where I am now in Southampton. And I could easily just drive up in the morning of, but instead I've just got a nice cheap hotel that's like 10 minutes away from the venue. And what this is gonna do is gonna allow me to stay nice and relaxed. So I'm going to sign in tomorrow afternoon, get my tan, and I'll be nice and local. I won't need to do anything drastic in the morning of the show. And tip number three is, is when you're trying to present the best possible physique, you're always better off leaving a little bit of breathing room between the show and your last training session. Hence why today is my last one. And it's only gonna be like a little bit of a pump workout. I'm not gonna do anything strenuous. The more fatigue and the more stress that you place on your body, now there are no guarantees, but it may have a negative effect on the way that you look. So instead of really taxing your body, really stressing yourself, thinking I've got to like try and do X, Y, Z in the gym, just think to yourself about scaling back your training. 
to present the best possible physique on Saturday, I'm going to make sure that I don't kill myself in the days leading up to it. And then number four, to finish off, and I think this one's up for debate because a lot of people, especially in modern bodybuilding, tend to opt for super high carb days, loading into the show, and more often than not, you see people spilling or bringing a worse package than what they looked like several days before. So the way that I've learned over the years is to not go too crazy, keep things a little bit more modest, like make sure that you're ready and then just ease your way in rather than thinking you need to be bursting full, which is a term that kind of winds me up. A lot of times I think people are just trying to make themselves bigger, like they're trying to make up for the fact that they don't have muscle by being full and actually it ends up just making their look worse. I've also learned that my physique looks a little bit better with a little bit more detail rather than trying to be full. So instead, I'm going to try and play to my strength. So today, I'm going in with a little bit more food, but we're going to assess the look as we go. Not going to be much more than 600 grams of carbs. And then tomorrow, again, maybe or maybe not, go in with another high day. Um, whatever's going to yield the best look, basically. So we just monitor it several times throughout the day and adjust the food as and when needed, and then that's that. So I was going to film some of my workout, but to be honest with you, it's going to be such a poor session. I'm not going to be doing anything. It's a little bit of an upper body pump. That's all I'm doing, really. So it's not going to be anything worth watching. So... I will see you at home for the next meal. Right, so it is currently 4.37 in the morning and I'm sat in my parents' kitchen shaving my legs. <laughs> so I'm opting for shaving this time. Um, last few times I've eaten like in the weeks following, I always get skin irritation. I don't know what it is. So I'm just giving this way a go now. I've done it this way before, but it was probably, I don't know, yeah, like maybe like six, seven years ago, but I have done it this way before. Anyway, you just need to make sure that the, the tan goes on evenly. It's obviously not gonna look as good. It's not gonna present as well. It's not gonna spread as well. So this is another tip as well, and that is to paint your nails, right? So yesterday I picked this up. This is, clear nail varnish that might seem like is that necessary well no it's not necessary but again after my first show i realized this i had like yellowy brown finger and toenails for the next like three four months or however long it takes to grow out and i was like oh, that looks horrible you know just as you're like you know going to the beach or even just with your girlfriend or whatever i was i remember being at the time very very embarrassed about that so um yeah just paint your nails maybe the day or so before Nothing, you know, I'm looking like a proper manicure or pedicure. I'm just talking, just get a little coat on there. That way the tan is only gonna hit your skin, not your nails, and then you can just remove that afterwards and you're good to go. So, yes, shaving my body and painting my nails. Not my finest hour. <laughs> All right then, it is midday on Friday, the 4th of October. So, what, like 20 hours out? And here I am doing a few client updates painting my nails. Now I know this is ridiculous, but it is a top tip. For the next like few months, you don't wanna have like grubby fingers and toes. It just looks a bit shit. So my advice is get it done. I mean, I it... to to <laughs> neither do I mate. He doesn't know how to respond to it. Cheers Siri. Uh, it's certainly not neat and tidy but it doesn't need to be, it just needs to prevent my fingers from, my fingernails from becoming stained, so that's that. So anyway, I'm gonna do this, send out a couple of updates for clients that still been checking in. Um, been very, very busy at work recently, which is great. Um, and then I'm gonna prepare my food, ready to go up for my first base coat of tan and to sign in. So base coat of tan is at four, and then signing in is at five. So yeah, exciting stuff. And I've got a little hotel up there. It's probably around about 15 minute drive from the venue. So stay up there, finish off my food for the day and then relax. Hopefully I'll be able to get some sleep. Whenever it's show day, I always find myself struggling to sleep um, through excitement. You know, I just want to get out there and get it done. So that'll be uh, good fun trying to sleep tonight. Probably won't manage it, but I'll do my best. I'm going to try and document bits and bobs throughout the process as well. See what I can and can't film. Obviously, in the tannin, it's a bit weird, but uh, when registration is the plan. Just showing the process. Again, my idea is always that people who are thinking about competing and, make, uh, and are potentially going to do it, you know, being able to watch something of the process as it happens in real time. 
So yeah, hopefully you can add some value to some people. So anyway, gonna get these done now, and then that's done. So just in with the tanners. That is the tan done, the base coat is now done. We'll come back tomorrow morning for the final coat. So the first coat of tan on, nice little color going on. And just going back to my car just to chill before registration. So well, I've already registered, just need to sign in. So I've got like about a 15 minute wait until that. Um, amazing news. It looks like there's going to be a really busy class tomorrow, um, which is quite rare. Super heavies, for some reason, it just doesn't seem to be that way like a lot of big guys. So it looks like there's going to be a really big class, a lot of really good guys. So it's going to be a proper challenge and I'm more than up for it. So yeah, excited. So this is the night before the show. I am in my Airbnb and I actually thought it was the apartment and it is just the room. So I'm a little bit gutted about that, but nice enough is what it is. You know, it's nothing, uh, nothing fancy, but it's all good. And I've actually got this as well. Little cozy setup. Got the fire on, trying to get Netflix. No joy. Yeah, so pre-show thoughts. It looks like it's going to be potentially one of the strongest, if not the strongest lineup I've ever been in. 12 guys in the super heavies. This is fantastic. This is what it should be. You know, a lot of times you turn up to shows and it's like one, maybe two, three, four. It's just frustrating. You know, you want to make sure you have a proper challenge. And I'm going to have that tomorrow. You know, regardless of the result, this is what it's all about. You know, you have to test yourself and you can't win them all. <laughs> but obviously, make no mistake, I'm going there to try and win. But I also understand that there's 11 other guys in the category who are doing exactly the same thing. And respect to everyone who's made it to this point. And yeah, I just, I feel, I feel raring to go. One thing I am dreading, and that's sleep, because sleep's so fucked at the moment. So I know I'm not going to get a great night's sleep. But when I wake up, it is show day. And I cannot wait. It is show day. I actually managed to sleep. I can't believe it. I put my head down to the pillow and... I was asleep within 10 minutes. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Anyway, going to do a condition check. Going to do a body weight check. At the moment, it's about quarter to five in the morning. So I've got a little bit of time. Tanning is at seven. I'll be on stage at about nine. So a few decisions to make in terms of like food and water. So based on condition, based on body weight, make a couple of decisions. But yeah, it's fucking here. Just arrived for tanning, get my top coat, and then relax. Top coat of tan is on, sufficiently orange, and I have a little bit of spare time before the show. So just chilling out in my car and getting back to a few clients, funny enough, um, a few well wishes, which is always really, really nice. I, food wise, I've just had a couple of bagels and a tiny bit of honey. Um, and in terms of water as well, I limit water. Not just because of like spilling over water, because you still need water in your system to make sure you get a good pump and sodium as well, for that matter. So I've actually been twisting my salt into my water, um, but you want to limit it. I think I'm, one of the big things that I try to keep on top of is stomach volume. <coughs> it's always quite hard to pose when you've got a lot of food in your stomach or a lot of water in your stomach. So instead, you know, I'm still, going to talk i'm still weeing quite a lot i've uh, i think i had like seven through the night um so yeah eight liters of water went in yesterday um so i'm still passing the water really really well so not holding on to any water should be all good um yeah so i should be on stage in within a couple of hours i'm gonna go backstage in about half hour just um just to get acclimated with it and all that and yeah looking forward to this shit backstage now just lying down elevated just stay off your feet try and relax try and chill create as less stressful environment as possible and 
load of the other competitors are doing the exact same thing. So yeah, now it's just a waiting game. Not a lot else to say. And to be honest with you, that's the thing with bodybuilding shows. You know, you'll be all amped up for the day itself, but then when it comes, there is a lot of sort of just holding fire, making sure you don't stress out and don't overthink and just try and just try and be present in the moment and yeah, that's it really. Two, three, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, six, two, three, eight. If that's your number, I need you to the side stage. Guess that means I'm in the top five. So I made a little pit stop at the services. Now, I don't know if this is weird or not, whatever, but the heart ones were the heart ones. So I've just stopped in. There was a KFC, there was a Burger King. I don't really fancy it. Um, weirdly, I got an MS spicy meatball wrap. I got a pack of honey roasted cashews. A bag of quavers. And two donuts from Urban Legend. There was Krispy Kreme there, but they I just want to try them. And a Pepsi Max. So that's it. Post show. <laughs> so it's the morning after the show. Sunday morning. Six o'clock in the morning, back on the cardio, trying to repent my sins. <laughs> so after the little feast in my car, I got home, had some beef mints and rice and veg because that's just kind of what I fancied. I think when, you, when I eat shit food, I end up craving like normal food, you know? So I had a decent meal there. Then I had a few bits of chocolate that Amy had on the side from a client. She got uh, given a gift. And then we went out for a Nando's, but then I also got a dessert. So I had some cookie dough and ice cream. And then before bed, I had a big bowl of cream of rice and whey and a couple of tablespoons of biscoff as well. To be honest, I really struggled to eat that. I was absolutely stuffed. I did a little top up as well. And I put in 8,000 calories for the day. So, 1,000 grams of carbs and 8,000 calories. That's gonna work as a super high day for me and gonna run in full depletion mode now until probably next weekend. So a good six or seven days in depletion mode and get myself to a new low again. I should imagine by about, it was a worse Sunday now, so by probably by Wednesday, I'll be at my baseline again, following yesterday's food. And then, and then dig in for a little bit more condition as well. Obviously two weeks out today. So no letting up. Incline treadmill is the cardio of choice. What's frustrating about the show is that I don't actually have any photos. So I'm just waiting on the professional photos to come through. And I'll include them in the video at some point or whatever. Whatever I get, I'm gonna include so you can have a little look. There was some really, really good guys. I mean, for example, yesterday, the guy came in sixth place and the week previous, he just won bodybuilding medium at PCA, beating like eight or nine guys. Just gives you an idea of the level, the standard. So, you know, for me to get in the top four, annoyingly, you know, I would have obviously liked it a little bit more, but to get what I did, still pretty good. Early show, I, think, I still think there's another few percentage that I can get better, which I will. I'm also convinced as well that my physique is better suited for PCA. I think two bros tend to prefer thicker, more dense. And I think the guys who beat me yesterday just have a, have a little bit more thickness and density than I do. I might have a bigger frame, well, maybe not, Certainly not Adam Harding. Adam Harding's ginormous. But in general, my frame is very, very big. But in terms of density, I think they're just a little bit more dense than me. If judges favor detail and condition, then there's a potential I can overturn these results, you know? So, just gotta do that. Full depletion mode underway. Good morning, so that is actually one week post show now. Uh, well, what we Monday the 
the 14th. So now I'm six days out from my next show. One week, one day post show. Um, yeah, and where I went up to the show on my own, I don't have any footage, which is annoying. I've never actually had that in my life. I normally, I come off stage and there's loads of people tag me and stuff and, you know, different videos and whatnot. This one, I didn't really have that and it was kind of annoying. So I actually didn't know how I looked for like a good few days. There was a couple of like dodgy photos from like weird angles and stuff. Um, then the professional shots come back in and I was able to see myself in the lineup, see myself, um, yeah. I mean, it's okay. Um, I always think the gold standard of lighting and photos is PCA. And here's the interesting thing. People always assume that you were in better shape when you're on a PCA stage. If, if you, anyone who's done it, you will know what I'm on about. When you do other federations, the lighting isn't as good. And people always assume, oh, you were in better shape because of that. It's like, well, no, the lighting, lighting matters. Lighting really does matter. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the shots. I'm gonna include them here. So I'm gonna have a little bit of, as I'm talking now, you'll see the photos. And yeah, I'm generally pretty happy. I mean, I know I wasn't fully in shape, but there's still a little bit more to come off from the back, specifically glutes. Hamstrings are pretty dug out. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm overall, I'm, I'm fairly happy. I only decided on the Wednesday that I was gonna compete on the Saturday. So it was like a real last minute thing, just for a bit of fun. And since then, I've been digging pretty hard. Uh, conditions already improved again since then. So yeah, this showing was really good. I really enjoyed the show in general. And um, Two Bros, sometimes it gets a bit of a bad rap, but I actually enjoyed the, how it was run. It was really great. And yeah, I'm looking forward to competing with them again, actually. It was a really well run show. And, you know, one of the strongest lineups I've been in, there was 12 guys, uh, came forth, so obviously, you know, being eight guys, so it wasn't a bad day at the office, so to speak, but, um, but obviously room to improve, and that's exactly what I shall do. But that will wrap up this video. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.